Ladies and gentlemen, the rumours are true. After months of speculation, I can finally reveal I have had a haircut. I know, I know, it was a long time coming, it was a big decision, but finally, after months, months of waiting, I have had my mop chopped. But we are not here to talk about my new do, even though it is pretty slick. <laughs> no, 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 no. We are here to talk about WWE superstars that I think need to change their hair style. This is my list. This is my opinion. So if you disagree, let me know in the comments. If you agree, let me know in the comments. And if you think I've missed anyone or someone that you think needs to snip that hair, let me know in the comments as well. So I'm going to give you my top five wrestlers that I think needs a new haircut. Number five. I have gone for the modern day Maharaja Jinder Mahal. Now, do you know what Maharaja means? Maharaja means an Indian prince. So when you think of a prince, what do you think? You think charming, handsome, good looking, well dressed, well presented, well spoken. And of course, a nice hairstyle. So when you think Prince Maharaja, do you think of this? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I... Jinder, what are you doing? You're supposed to be an Indian prince. It looks like you've just got out of the shower, got a towel and done like this. You need to go back to your old hair style. That looks clean. That looks like an Indian prince, in my opinion. I am O. Jinder Mahal, take a trip to your local barbers and get that mop chopped. This one could be controversial, but that is, that is fine. That is perfectly fine. I am okay with some controversy. So, number four, I have chosen the lunatic fringe, Dean Ambrose. Whoa, whoa, Dean Ambrose fans. Whoa, wait. Before you type me a nasty comment, let me explain. So, rumours are, when Dean Ambrose comes back, he's gonna be a heel. He wants people to boo him. That will be his role as a bad guy, as a heel. He needs to get booed. So, what do you do with Dean Ambrose to get booed? You take away some of the things that people love, people like about Dean Ambrose. One of those things is his messy, crazy hair, because he's a lunatic. Take that away, change his look if he's going to be a heel. Seth Rollins, he used to have the blonde streak in his hair. That's gone. So Dean Ambrose, if he's going to change his character, he should change his look. And if you have seen the picture of Dean Ambrose, he's got a big ginger beard. So could that be the start of his image change? The beard, next is the hair, next is the attire. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, it's just an idea. So please think about it before you put the comment. Okay, this superstar is not currently in WWE, but I still class him as a WWE superstar. My number three pick for who I think needs to, you know, do something about that is... Y2J, Chris Jericho. 
Chris Jericho has changed his hair a lot over the years. That is good. That is a good thing for a wrestler to do. Change your look. Keep evolving, keep changing, keep it fresh. So I applaud you for that, Chris Jericho. But this current look with the long hair and the headband, you're not David Beckham. You're not David Beckham in like 1998. No, you are Chris Jericho. And I prefer Chris Jericho with the tuft at the front. This long hair, it's just not doing it for me. It is not working for me. And I understand he's in New Japan Wrestling, he's trying something new, he's got some makeup, and he's, he's trying. He is trying, but personally, I am not a fan of the new Chris Jericho look. I think he looks better with the shorter hair. So that is why I have put Chris Jericho, Chris Jericho at number trois. Uh, de, toi. Yeah, toi. Another controversial choice. Are you ready for this one? Because this one is gonna get a lot of people talking in the comments, I think. So, women's division. Think about the WWE women's division. It's kind of like Colors of the Rainbow. Red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange and blue. You've got all sorts of different colors going on and everybody has long hair. So, my choice at number two. Should I say it? I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. Number two, Bailey. I said it. I said it. Bailey. She attacked Sasha Banks last week on Raw. So, similar to Dean Ambrose. If Bailey is becoming a heel, I think she should change her look. Take away the things that make people like Bailey. The ponytail, the hugging, the inflatable tube people. Take that all away. Change her look. And who else on the women's roster has short hair? I can't think of anybody. And Bailey, you need to get rid of the ponytail, whatever that is. Whatever it is. Take it away. And there you go. Heel Bailey. Okay, think about WWE hairstyles. Hairstyles are important to a wrestler. I mean, you've got Sheamus with his ginger mohawk. You've got Jeff Hardy. He changes his hair all the time and it, it's always cool. Undertaker, he changes his hair a lot as well. That is good. Character progression. I like it. But this person has been the same for about eight years. I'm talking about Dolph Ziggler. Oh! 2012, Dolph Ziggler. 2013, Dolph Ziggler. 2014, Dolph Ziggler. 2015, Dolph Ziggler. 2016, Dolph Ziggler. 2017, Dolph Ziggler. 2018, Dolph Ziggler. Eight years, the same noodle haircut. His hair looks like a bowl of noodles upside down on his head. It is true. It is true. Dolph Ziggler, hashtag noodle head. But Dolph Ziggler, he's looked the same for eight years. He hasn't changed at all. Like I said earlier, Seth Rollins, at least he changed the blonde streak in his hair. Dolph Ziggler has just had noodle hair for as long as I can remember. He's been face, he's been heel, he's been in between, he's been champion, he's been on pre-shows. Always the same. Always the same. Look the same Dolph Ziggler. Dolph, change it up and then people might start caring about you again. Savage. Guys and girls, those are my top five picks on superstars who I think need to get down to the hairdresser, to the barber. Hell, just get someone in the back to shave it all off like Baron Corbin did. See, he's got the right idea. But I wanna know what do you think about my picks? What are your picks? Let me see in the comments below. Before you go, make sure you hit that like button, hit subscribe, and hopefully catch you on the next video. Stay.
my battery died. My battery died right at the end of the video. Typical Kip Clips botch right there. As I was saying, stay two. So we You just made the list. Stupid battery.